I, uh, I feel totally out of control because I'm not holding the camera, my son James is, and that's how he communicates uh, simply through uh, perspective, a visual perspective. Okay, so we're looking at the... I was going to say, pay attention to what Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mara, would you like to start the discussion while I go grab the input? The what? is my question. No, no. The what? Or is it short for something else? Or is it the? I don't know. I can tell you that the name of the show is The System Has No Memory. So apparently it is lacking RAM uh, or some sort of solid memory of any sort. Uh, it's new works by Pete Smith. And it's at, uh, again, the Board of Directors, which is a very, uh, they're really greedy in, in studio space and, and gallery space, but that's fine. Uh, 1080 Queen Street West is beside the other ones we've been doing, so you shouldn't get lost, and if you are, you shouldn't be looking at art. Uh, let's move to the right, James. This is kind of the introductory pieces. And once again, different artists, more polka dots. Mara? So I think it's just, you know, this year is a polka dot season. You I know, really like this one, so I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, no, it's, it's true, though. I'm not a fan of yellow. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these dots. I, uh, and I'm not... Yeah. I, kinda, I, really I don't want to say anything bad about it, because I like the other stuff. But, uh, okay, well, let's, let's not start with... Me. I, just, I just need to mention at this point <laughs> that there's a phenomenon in our history, which is if you look at like a bunch of like 15th century paintings, they all look alike. If you look at a bunch of like 18th century paintings, they all look alike. They and if, when people are looking, well, I know, but they had uh, people with really good memories. And if, if people are looking at this art right now, 100 years from now, it's all going to look alike. And one of the things will be polka dots. Okay. All right, so let's, James, let's go to the right. Now these, those are just the introduction paintings. Now look at these grand things. This looks like uh, a clever commentary on the paintings my grandmother would have. This, I would absolutely put up in my You would absolutely mind. have this absolutely. above your couch? Yeah. It passes the Mara couch test? It does. It, it certainly does. All right, well... You know, uh, I am curious about something. We we'll want to get up to it for a closer look, because there's something in there that kind of looks out of place. Yeah. Okay, well, why don't you get closer, James? Don't, don't be afraid. Just, uh, so don't white be afraid here. Throw up on that white, that one white little... Like it was done on top of the canvas after it was done. I mean, I just see a lot of stuff in this world. I see flowers, I see berries, I see mistletoe, I see a Christmas thing, I see a skull, I see some kind of furry creature, I see a phallic. There's lots going on in here. I see rock, I see paws. So you are a symbolist. I am a symbolist. A symbolist. Okay, let's move right to the next painting, and, and try not to shake it around too much because right now viewers at home are throwing up, which is a whole nother subsecular. We'll, we'll get to that in some other report. Now this is looking, this is looking Dali-ish to me. It's got the same sort of like weird bone, organic kind of structure thing going on with the opaque blockage of entering any depth into this field whatsoever. Yeah. I was going to say, I, don't, I can appreciate this. You can appreciate but this? I would not hang this in my... I would not hang this yeah. in my camera. But I would encourage somebody else to do this. Because <laughs> yeah. I want to... I, I want to show you... See, this is like really beautifully flat. Okay? And, and it's got like this urethane kind of like gloss over it. Uh, and that's very popular in the last uh, 10 years. And it's a really nice technique. And then if you kind of like, it's very subtle, if you go down, there's, an, yeah, there's stuff now sitting above the field, right? Yeah. And uh, so there's some subtle variations in his work. I mean, there's, there's some deliberate, deliberate stuff going on. And this may look accidental to those of you who are uh, Philstein in nature. Um, oh. But uh, believe me, it has some thought process to it. And no offense to oh, modern day Philistines everywhere. Hey. And again. That I this camera is going to cut out at any time, is it? and that yes. will end the uh, end the critique. So I'm just going to try to get a little bit more of this this work. This is again really really interesting. It's 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 got this whole still life uh, commentary, and this is so familiar to me because I mean I've seen this going on. Oh no, that's going to be a different one. Uh, I've seen this going on, and I, I think I know what he's talking about. But who better to ask than the artist itself? I mean, what the hell's going on here, man? Um, well, the, all the pictures, I guess, are based on um, a series of digital photographs I took of different stuff. Awesome. Yeah. 
awesome. Um, and out of those digital photographs, I traced 103 different shapes. Um, and I used those shapes to make all my paintings. So, um, like, a still life sort of thing um, is actually a conglomeration of, uh, of different forms. So, like, this is the letter so off of a, I think it was from the band's warp Tour poster or something, and that's a little C and all different sort of shapes. This is um, the actual form of that is a, um, came from a, an island from a fishing map. So I'll just kind of jump um, that oh. I consider sort of a, a vocabulary that I, I create all my uh, paintings with. And this is sort of the remix, I guess, of, of the other one, which was done first. And, Use the same drawing, I guess, to make two just completely different paintings. Um, so remix, is that like a conscious connection to a video and, and music absolutely. remix? Okay, yeah, mashup. Yeah, okay, uh, you which got is, it. I think, in a lot of ways, just kind of the process of what I'm doing in the okay. work as a whole. Uh, I sort of see it as almost like a, a Photoshop collage project, except um, rather than Photoshop being the sort of interface, I'm the interface. And I, um, you know, have my own sort of filters and array of things that I can do to, to different things. Why still lives? Um, well, I was, like I said, thinking about the work as, as these forms as language. I started to think about the idea that uh, language needs structure. And like a poet doesn't just write a poem, they write like, you know, a sonnet or a haiku or something. So I, I thought about different structures of painting from sort of art history and different things as well. And uh, and the forms of that, so you know, still life, landscape. This one, believe it or not, was my thoughts on a portrait. Okay. Uh, even though it's not meant to look like a face, it's the structure of the portrait I was interested in. So, like, it's a larger centralized form that extends to the bottom portion of the the, the canvas, but not out to the other sort of. Well, you know what they they say that uh, you know every. Uh, you know, every painting is actually a landscape, and every good landscape is actually a portrait. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and I've got more landscapes and stuff too, and monochrome and text painting and all over. And these just sort of different forms, I guess, of uh, of, of of painting. Okay. Well, thanks very much. If you're nice. if you're uh, paintings were gladiators and I was Caesar, thumbs up. Okay. <laughs>